Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. The version 2.9.3 of the my Linux work files is now available for you to download. This version is very important for me because with that I have finished the migration from GitLab to GitHub. So the GitHub is the new home for the my Linux for work files. The version 2.9.3 comes with several new features, bug fixes and quality improvements. And again, it's super easy to install with the single command that you find on my GitHub repository. Thanks again to all users of the mylinux4work.files and a lot of new features, ideas and improvements that came from the community. The journey will continue. And with that, let's jump in. Welcome to the mylinux4work.files here on Hyperland in version 2.9.3. Let's start with the first change. And the first change is that new animation that is now available. You see it's a very dynamic animations where the windows are flying in and flying out. So very dynamic, looks very modern. And you see it also when I open here, for example, the My Linux for Work welcome app. So the app appears from the top and when I close it, it will be closed to the bottom of the screen. Yeah. This is Firefox comes in. Let's open, for example, Nautilus. You move it around and let's close Nautilus again. And you see how the window disappears. You can activate that animation in the dot files app in appearance. And then you scroll down and you see here the animation variations and you can select animation dynamic from that list. Now this is the default animation. And this is the dynamic animation. The next change you can see here on top on Waybar. And you, you see here in Waybar a new icon and that loops Cliphist, the clipboard manager. Then here the icon to deactivate hyper idle means the screen lock feature and here the screen shader and that cleans up Waybar a bit more. Yeah, it looks a bit more structured. Here still the update module and here are updates available. Let's install the updates for a second. And that it's already so the system is now up to date. Another new application that is now chipped with the dot files is a new system app. This is Mission Center. And Mission Center gives you information, detailed information about your CPU, memory consumption, your hard drive activity and so on. Also here all applications that are currently running and the services. Yeah, and you can start, stop services, start applications directly here in Mission Center with a very nice look and feel and integrated into the rest of the applications of the dot files. Let's change the wallpaper. You can do this by clicking here on that wallpaper icon. Waypaper opens and then let's choose, for example, this wallpaper. And you know, you can then also change the waiver theme. Here, a, a black theme could work very well. Yeah, that looks nice. And you can, of course, also enable wallpaper effects. This is a blur brightness. We can also use the negate wallpaper effect. Here you can switch back, for example, to the light theme. Yeah, and this theme will also take the colors from the wallpaper. So let's switch to another wallpaper with super shift W. Yeah, this will also take here a color from the wallpaper from the original wallpaper. 
I have made some changes in the .bash RC file, but this is very customized normally in your case. Now you can create a .bash RC underscore custom file in your home directory. And this file will be sourced into the .bash RC file that is chipped with the mylinuxforwork.files. So when we open that file now, you see I have here two aliases uh, defined for me personally, so one for, um, to sync my dot .files from the development folder into the target folder dot .files and one to start the Citrix workbench. This is the new repository for the my Linux for the work dot .files on GitHub. So I moved the dot .files and all my projects from GitLab to GitHub and I'm very happy with the new setup but because GitHub supports me very well in setting up a good development environment, brings a lot of tools to plan my projects. And also, of course, with GitHub, I can reach more developers in the community much more easier. Yeah, and you see here already that the dot .files are now better structured. I moved all dot .files from the installer here into the dot .files folder. So that will shorten the list of files. And you see here that readme what is also already transferred is the wiki and here in the wiki you can find all information about the installation about the update and so on how the different modules can be customized and so on and if you find an issue a bug or have a question or feature request you can go here on issues and you can open here a new issue bug report is um, possible or a feature request can be opened directly here from that dialog. The installation and the update of the MyLinux for work.files is very easy. You see here on the readme file, so the start page of my repository, here that command, you can copy that command easily by clicking that icon, open in terminal, paste that command in and start. You can confirm the installation with yes, Enter password. The system downloads the latest version from the repository and start automatically the installation. The script has detected that there is already a dot .files installation available. I confirm the update with yes. System update is not needed because the system is already up to date. But I want to create a backup from the existing dot .files. That's why I click here on yes. So let's see here if this has worked. Go to the folder dot .files versions and then on backup. And you see here that the dot .files that are currently installed have been backupped here. All files from the dot .files folder and also from the config folder there has now there is now an update from the my Linux for Work Hyperland settings app. So the configuration there. And with that, I know that all my custom configurations are stored on a safe place. And that's why I can proceed with the installation to install the new packages only. So all packages are already installed here on my system. I choose here Hyperland, the display manager, is already installed, so I don't need to reinstall it again. I keep the current setup. I can restore the settings from the current installation of the dot .files into the new version. The keyboard is fine. I proceed with the current keyboard layout. NeoVim, yeah, I will take the new configuration and I start the update. GTK theme can be overwritten, the .bash RC file. Yes, I want to take the new one. The cleanup is done. I can run a short system check. All of the required applications have been found from the installer and I can reboot the system. So you see, an update is very easy and the installation is the same. Take the same command, execute it, in the terminal and the installer will guide you through the installation process. This is the new version 2.9.3 of the MyLinuxForWork.files. I hope you like it. And 
more versions will come very soon with new features on top on that release. And with that, see you next time.